Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Okay, so what I have down here, I got some putty stuff and some iron fillings. You can see it's like a powder, it's basically this iron powder. Uh, what I'm going to do with these, I want to get some of, a little bit of this and a little bit of this, mix it together to create a thing called magnetic putty. Then when you put it next to a magnet, it should slowly engulf um, the magnet. Except what you need is a neodymium magnet, I'm pretty sure it's called. So I'm going to first see if I can mix this with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this little this lid of a small amount of this. I'm not sure if there's any ratios um, to work with making this, but... I'm just going to take a guess, so I'm going to tap out a small amount. And that should do. Now let's mix it all together. Now I tested before the iron fillings, of, of course, because it's iron do stick to a magnet. But I heard that it was best sometimes to use uh, iron oxide. But I'm just gonna. This is this is an experiment to see if it'll work with just the iron fillings. So after about four minutes of mixing, I got it to look like this. It's from this yellow shiny color to it's like a sort of greeny brown-ish color. It's almost black, so. I want to go grab a magnet and see if I have successfully made some magnetic putty. Okay, so I got a very tiny magnet. I got that from, I think it was a speaker from an old computer, like a laptop. And I have my putty right here. So, up oh, straight up as you can see, it's stuck to it. I was actually not expecting it to work so well. And if you can see there, just give me a second, it's actually slowly engulfing it into the putty. You can see it slowly disappearing. That actually worked a lot better than I was expecting. Let's see how easy I can take it out. Oh, yeah. Take, taken it out, it's nice and clean now. So, that there is my magnetic putty. I'm actually really proud of that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this. Now just in case you're unsure, the way this magnetic putty actually works is the in the iron there's a lot of electrons um, and they they sort of they, they have their own magnetic field and right now without touching the magnet they are all um, scattered um, and not really well arranged but when I put it near a magnet they arrange themselves and that's what makes them kind of engulf the magnet, go around it. So it's pretty interesting stuff. It's a very simple experiment too. You can easily make it at home. And if you have just some putty, I got some naughty putty, is what it's called. But if you had some, just any other sort of putty, and like, I don't know how many of you would have a little container of iron fillings, but. You can get some rust, go go to something rusty, give it a bit of a sandpaper, collect the powder from that and just mix it with the putty. It's really simple to make and also very interesting and fun the way it just sticks to it.